Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at another dot matrix display. What I have here is an 8x16 dot matrix display module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. This module is identical to the dot matrix display we used in the previous video, which is the 8x8 dot matrix display. It uses the same driver chip, so the same driver library will also be used. The MAX7219. Pinouts and pin assignment is also the same. The only difference is this module provides twice the display resolution versus the other one. For more details regarding the circuit connection and the driver library, be sure to watch the previous video. Let's go directly to the examples. In here, I prepared two examples for this demonstration. For the driver library, I already saved the max7219.py in the MicroPython device root directory, which is the same driver library we used in the previous video. And here, in the initialization, in the instantiation of the object, this is identical to the previous one. We just modified the width to 16. This one is 16 for the width and 8 for the height. In the previous video, this is true because this one we need to rotate the display while this one we don't need to rotate. Now, let's click the run button to execute this source code. And as you can see, the, that matrix displays capital letter A and B with a brightness of 8. For the brightness, we can assign from a value of 0 to a maximum of 15. There are other ways or there are other application here that we, you can try here. And you just need to comment it out. So let's say, let's try the marquee. So you just comment this. Comment it out. This one. And for the marquee, just uncomment this one. And click save and run button. And the marquee, hello world, will run on it. Let me click the stop button first. And let's assign a higher value of brightness so that it can be seen in the video. I will click the run again. And hello world will be displayed in the that matrix display. Okay, now for example number two, since this one has two digits, it can display two digits. It can count out, it can count from 0 to 99, which this one limits the maximum value that it can count, and it count down back to 0. And we make sure that we add a padding of 0 in case the value is less than 10. That is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, like that. So let me click the run button. So it will count up from 0 to 99. Then when it reads 99, it will count down back to zero. Back to zero. This one. And we make sure that we add a padding of zero when the value is less than 10, which is from zero to nine. And it will just loop again and again. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. 
As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found at my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this tutorial, be sure to write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share it so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time. God bless.